Hello and welcome to another episode of Nikolai and Friends. As you can see, the holiday season is quickly approaching here at the facility. And to get ready for it, you see the gang is getting ready with the decorations, spreading a little cheer, getting in the mood. But not everybody around the facility is quite as happy as these guys. And Santa wants to see to it that they can do their part in helping spread the cheer with everybody else. So please join us as we dive in to the Christmas episode of Nikolai and Friends. Facilities manager Greg was taking a little break from decorating the house when all of a sudden the phone rang. Who could this be, he asked himself. Hello, facilities manager Greg, a booming voice said. This is Santa Claus, and I need your help with something. Sure thing, Santa. What can I do to help? I have accidentally dropped some very special Christmas decorations around the facility. I need for these decorations to be put up at the lamppost. Until this is done, Christmas cannot go forward. It is very important. After getting off the phone with Santa Claus, facilities manager Greg made his way out to the garden to interrupt whatever was going on and let the guys know of the mission that they were put on by Santa Claus. Everybody was very excited about the mission. Nikolai and friends was going to do whatever it took to save Christmas. So the friends set out upon their adventure, where they quickly came upon Ross T, the snowman. The guys were accustomed to seeing Happy Snowman, but Ross T. the Snowman was not happy at this time. He explained to the gang how he was supposed to meet his friends and family over at the ice, but the ice was so far away and he didn't know how he was going to get there as Snowman have trouble traveling across ground without snow. Although Nikolai and friends were on a very important mission from Santa himself, they knew they had to do what they could to help Ross T. the Snowman make his way to see his friends and family. So they decided to help him out, even if it took time away from their own journey. So they loaded Ross T. Snowman on the sled and made their way for the ice. Waiting on the other side of the journey was Ross T.'s friends and family. They could see now as the friends came into view and soon they would be reunited with their friend. Being back on the ice together and reunited, the Snowman family was quite happy and in their element. The Sheik, however, he was not. Being from an Arab climate, the ice was new to him and was going to take a little adjustment. This the chef found hilarious. Ross T. Snowman wanted to thank Nikolai and friends by giving them this beautiful decoration he had found in the yard. He hopes it brightens their Christmas the way that they have brightened his. Feeling inspired by the good deed they've done and the decoration they received, the gang heads to Bethlehem, Pennsylvania, the Christmas city, to take in some of the spirit and the sights and sounds. That would just have matched the hair in Grandma's way. After enjoying the festivities in Bethlehem, the crew began the long walk home. While walking home, they began to feel that they might have gotten a little distracted. While thinking that they might have gotten a little distracted, they think they might have gotten a little lost. While thinking they might have gotten a little lost, they managed to walk completely off the scene somehow. After wandering for what seemed like it forever, Nikolai and friends came across the sad coyote by the name of Oscar. Oscar was a little sad because he was traveling by himself from his home of Mexico and didn't have any friends or family around and as it was the holidays, he was just longing for the sights and sounds of home and just felt a little out of place. Everyone was moved by this and wanted to help. Almost everyone. Hearing this, the Sheik told Oscar that he was in luck because their friend Scolito was also from Mexico, and he would be out of the woods shortly. Upon meeting Scolito, Oscar and him hit it off right away, and a good time was had by all, complete with dancing and music. They were singing and having a good time. The 
before it was all over, Skolito had one more surprise. He broke out a belt buckle that was given to him from another friend from Mexico. It meant a great deal to him, but he realized right now that it would mean a great deal more to Oscar. So he gave it to him to help him feel happier and more remembering of home. Oscar was very happy and he wanted to share this happiness with his new friends the only way he could. So he gave them this decoration that he had found recently and, and keeping to himself as a way to have the Christmas spirit. But now he found he no longer needed it. Eventually Nikolai and friends made it back to the facility. They weren't there long when they thought they heard somebody calling for help. They sounded like they were in a bit of trouble. They all checked it out. And they were right. Somebody needed their help. Bruce the Holiday Moose had fallen over flat on his face and was really in need of someone to help him out. Everybody was surprised by this turn of events and they all rushed over to help Bruce, even at great peril to themselves. Once they reached Bruce, they comforted him a little bit and let him know everything was going to be alright. Then they devised a plan to get him back upright and in a secure position. They used their heads, worked together, and were able to get Bruce back upright and spreading Christmas cheer once again. After helping Bruce to his feet, they asked him if there was anything else that they could do for him. Bruce simply responded no. By helping him to his feet, he now has the ability to spread cheer on his own, and to him that is the greatest gift. Bruce, however, did have something he wanted to do for Nikolai and friends. While he was face down, he found this beautiful decoration under the leaves nearby. He wanted to give it to them to say thank you for helping him help himself. After finding all the lost decorations that Santa had spoken about, Nikolai and friends made their way to the light post to decorate it so that Christmas may go forward. Although they weren't exactly sure how decorating the light post was going to ensure that Christmas continues, but they also knew it was best not to question Santa. So, they eagerly made their way up the light post and began to decorate. Santa stops by to thank Nikolai and friends for all their efforts in making sure that Christmas can go forward. He also explains the deeper meaning of their mission, which is that lights and trees and even the time of the year have very little, if anything, to do with the Christmas spirit. It's the actions, the actions of helping families come together, of people feel a little more at home, and of helping others stand on their two feet so they might help others. To be kind, be good and to be helpful when there is no expectation of a return. That is what is needed to ensure that Christmas can come forward, not just on December 25th, but every day. From everybody here at Nikolai and Friends, we'd like to say thanks for watching, and we look forward to seeing you next time. And until then, I'm Facilities Manager Greg saying, may every day be a Merry Christmas. Here we know that Christmas will be green and bright, the sun to shine by day and all the stars at night. Melikilikimaka is the wise way to say Merry Christmas to you. This has been a Walks Out, Clocks Out production.